Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is future Apex or also called as asynchronous Apex in Salesforce. But before that, if I was able to help you out with my videos and you were able to learn anything regarding to Salesforce from this channel, please, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. It, will, it won't cost you anything, but for me, it will mean a lot. So let's jump back to our video for future Apex or asynchronous Apex in Salesforce. I'll explain the concept of asynchronous Apex with a real world example. So I'm a bachelor, right? So everything right from cooking to washing my clothes, utensils and everything, including my nine to five job has to be done by me itself. And there's no external help, right? So let's say I have some urgent task from my job, right? I want to do some kind of deployment or there is some issue in the code that needs to be fixed. But along with that, I also need to wash my clothes and at least I have to wash like two weeks of clothes, two weeks of my clothes and washing two weeks of clothes itself with hands is not that easy task, right? As it's tedious and it will take a lot of time. Basically speaking, it will take a lot of time and energy to get this job done like washing clothes. And if I have to choose and fixing my bugs versus washing my clothes, I most probably will choose fixing my bugs first as it's a very high priority job for me. And washing of these clothes can be done or can be holded because it's time and energy taking. Plus, I don't have machine to wash these clothes. I have to wash these clothes with my bare hand. So washing clothes can always be done when I have time or whenever I am free. And I have to do a higher priority job right now. That's fixing my bug. So in simple words, I'll be washing my clothes in future or whenever I have time and energy both with me only in that cases I'll go and do with this task right so it's same with apex right when you have large amount of the data that needs to be processed but not that of very high priority or let's say it's of high priority but it's okay that this data can be processed whenever the system has free time and resources in that cases only we go with asynchronous apex or let's say future apex just considering a real uh, real world example is that whenever like date is 25th December of every year. We should send an happy Christmas email to every client. Now, if you see this scenario, we don't need to send this email to each and every client line by line. We can just write a simple, simple script, which will run on every 25th December of every year. And we'll send an email to all the accounts of our system. In this cases, we go with asynchronous Apex, or let's say one more example is when an account is created, we need to make a call out to an external system. This is a requirement. Okay. Just an example. Whenever an account is created, we need to make an, um, make a call out to an external system. Now, if you look into this scenario, whenever an account is created, so this is a trigger based scenario. So whenever an account is created, we have to do some kind of task, right? So you are going to write this code within the trigger itself, right? You're not going to write it anywhere, but you're going to write it within the trigger itself. So whenever an account is created, we need to make a call out to an external system. Now trigger executes quickly, but the external system might respond later or might take time to respond. In that case also, we use future Apex. So long story short, we use future Apex whenever we have very large amount of the data that needs to be processed. One. Second is nothing but whenever on based on any kind of event, we need to make a call out to an external system and we need to get the response from the external system as well. In that case also, we use future Apex. And the third and the most common one, I'll just jump to my developer org. This is one more scenario where we use future Apex in Salesforce. So what I'm doing in this code is, what I'm doing is in this method, I'm trying to insert an account, right? After inserting an account, I'm just inserting a user, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this Apex. So I've already done it, future Apex, and I'm as it's a met, uh, method static, I don't need to create an object. So I'm going to go and execute it. Let's see what happens. It's saying mixed BML operation. Now this is the one of the most common reason why we go with future Apex. One of the most common reason why which we are going to fix in the next video. So please stay tuned. If you like this video and I was able to help out uh, to explain what future Apex is, please, please, please subscribe to my channel.